Hello everyone, it's Ruth and welcome back. So today I want to share a recipe for mince curry with peas and potato. So this is a recipe that I use often in my home. It's quick, it's easy, it's no fuss, it's just simple ingredients. I'm using lamb mince today, but you could use um, beef mince. I've not used pork mince, so it's just lamb or beef today. This is also a special request from my daughter. Both my daughters have moved away, so they're constantly looking for recipes and easy things to make. So this is a request from my daughter. Anyway, I hope you will give it a try. So let's get into this recipe. For this recipe, you're going to need about 500 grams of mince, one tomato chopped into pieces, a few sprigs of curry leaves, a tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, a handful of coriander leaves and stems chopped for garnishing, one onion chopped, a quarter cup of frozen peas, two potatoes peeled and chopped lengthwise. For your spices you need one bay leaf, one cinnamon stick, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and two tablespoons of mixed masala. It's interesting to note that different people use different chili powder or masala mix. This one that I purchased has everything in it. It has the chili powder, the coriander powder, the garam masala. It's an all-in-one mix so you basically just need one of this mixture for all of your curries. So I've used two tablespoons of this mix. If you go to your spice shop you could ask them for this all-in-one mix so you basically can use this for all of your meat dishes. And then Finally, you need a quarter cup of oil. Heat up the oil in the pot and add your bay leaf and cinnamon stick. Stir it around a little bit to infuse the oil. Add your onions to the pot and stir it around until it is light brown in color. When your onions are light brown, add in your curry leaves and your ginger and garlic paste and mix it around so it's well combined. You must do this quickly and avoid the onions from getting burned. Next you add in your spices and your salt and mix until it's well combined. Now that the masala is well combined, add in your chopped tomatoes. Mix it well. When your tomatoes have blended in well with the spices and the onions, you add in your mince. Mix it thoroughly. Add in a little water and mix it thoroughly to avoid the spices from catching or getting stuck at the bottom of the pan. Cover 
and allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes. Once the water has reduced significantly, add in your peas and nestle in your potato pieces and cover the pot and reduce the heat to very low and allow it to simmer until the potatoes are cooked. You have to keep checking it and if you knew, do find that the water has evaporated, add in a quarter cup of water at a time and allow it to cook until the potatoes are fully cooked. When the potatoes are cooked, your curry is done. You will notice that the oil separates a little bit. If you like a little more gravy, you can add in some hot water, just about a quarter cup. I particularly like it like this. If you enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe.